Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team doing a review of the Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich Port ROM on your Nexus S4G. Uh, basically, um, I did flash it. I do have a how-to video showing you how to flash it and install it in case you need to. I'll link that in the description of the video. Um, I, I'll also link the to the ROM. Um, big thanks to BZ for this ROM once again. Uh, the, just go ahead and scroll down and download is right here. So in case you need to download it, that is right there. But anyways, I am running up and running. As you can see, welcome screen, very different. Um, not tapping on the Android guy anymore. But as you can see, you got language options. Uh, you can choose through a bunch of different language languages. I'm gonna go ahead and hit English and hit start. And use Google location, hit next. And I can sign into my Google account. I'm gonna skip that for now so you guys don't have to watch me sign in and basically get all that stuff up. But wow, here we go. Ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0 on the Nexus S4G. This is amazing. It, <laughs> it looks great too, wow. Um, I'm scrolling through. Wow, this is awesome. I, I, I'm just, I just want to look at it. I'm sorry. Let's r run through some cool features that it has. Um, obviously, it has a new updated launcher. You got app drawer, and you got uh, two, four icons besides the app drawer. Um, up at the top, you got the uh, status bar with uh, white clock, nice blue battery icon, as well as uh, 3G signal icon, and... Um, basically an icon, I'm not sure what that does. It doesn't look like it's a signal bar, but anyways, I'm going to swipe down. As you can see, nice light blue um, line at the bottom of the circle in the middle, black uh, notification bar background, which is very cool. Um, date up at the top, Tuesday, October 25th, 2011, right there. Um, as you can see, when I swipe through the home screens, uh, the Google search bar up there stays which is very nice, so in case you wanted to search on any of the home screens, you can. Uh, but once again, I'm gonna to go to my app drawer. You select it and you go side to side to navigate through them. Um, as you can see, everything's running real smooth, real quick, this is awesome. Um, you can select Google Apps, it'll take you to all the different Google Apps that you have on your phone. Uh, Gmail, Maps, Google+, YouTube, Music, all those good ones. I'm gonna to go to Settings takes me to the settings. I have all these options. Wi-Fi doesn't work right now and Bluetooth doesn't work right now to my knowledge. So uh, just a heads up there, you're gonna need to be on 3G. I'm not sure if 4G works or not. I don't know if that's even in here yet, but just a heads up there. Um, here's settings, obviously it's a little different, but it also is the same as uh, Gingerbread and any of the others. I'm gonna go to About Phone. And as you can see, model number Nexus S4G and Android version ice cream sandwich right there. So as you can see, even when you select things, it has a nice light, uh, light blue light up and then it fades off, which is very cool. I like that a lot. Um, but uh, anyways, go ahead and go back to the home screen, run through some awesome features. I'm going to hit the menu button. should bring up a, a list of options. It's not right now, so maybe it's not at the moment. But um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hold down on the home screen, see if that does anything. It does. So I got uh, wallpapers to choose from, apparently, if I hold down on the home screen. So that's changing your wallpaper. Um, going to my app drawer, I can go over to widgets up at the top here. And it gives me a list of basically all the widgets. I can scroll through them in case I wanted to add a widget. Uh, I mean, if I wanted to add, as I said, the music widget, press and hold on it, and it takes me to the home screen, I can put it anywhere. I believe I can resize it. I'm not sure how that's... Okay, you press and hold on the widget, and let's see what I can do. I, I, I'm not... I haven't really looked into the resizing. I'm not exactly sure how resizing works. I'll have to play with that a little bit um, and get the resizing down. I don't know if you can on this or not. But just a heads up, on Ice Cream Sandwich, you can resize it. Camera, I believe camera's buggy, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It might force close on me. It might not. See, as you can see, it's working right now. Um, I'm going to try and uh, take a picture. So, I believe press this button to take it, the blue one. So, select the picture. Takes it and just puts it away right away. So, takes it. And then you're back going to where you needed to be. Um, 
let's see, you can go to video camera and front facing camera as well in case you need to, you got settings. Obviously camera's working nice. Um, I have heard, heard it's uh, buggy though. So just a heads up there. Um, go ahead and go back to the home screen. I don't know if it has, okay, cool. So look, as you can see, it even has uh, basically rotation animations, kind of like the Photon or any Motorola phone. It's not just, it does have an animation, a transition animation when you rotate, and that is on the home screen, so just a heads up there. And as you can see, it all rotates. You got the search bar over on the side here, and uh, after on the side there, so the search bar even changes orientation with you. So that's very cool. Obviously, you have the groups, as you have seen here which is very nice I also believe you have scrollable widgets so if I wanted to add a widget I'm gonna go ahead and add one that I can scroll bookmarks I'm gonna add uh, the bookmarks widgets to my home screen oops don't want to go to the browser yet don't want to go to Google talk yet either but as you can see I can scroll through the bookmarks widgets so that's very cool right there that it has scrollable widgets I can go to google.com and as you can see, I am on 3G up at the top, so this is going to show you that 3G is working. There you go. So 3G is working. I mean, um, I'm going to go try and pinch zoom. Pinch zoom's working great. So that's very smooth as well. So that's cool if I wanted to try and go to a different site. As you can see, it looks like this gingerbread uh, keyboard is still there. That's what it looks like anyway. I'm sure it might be a little different. I'm going to try acsyndicate.net. N-E-T and go. So check out acsyndicate.net, let that load up. Got a nice green bar that goes across the top up here. You'll notice that if you decide to run this ROM. But wow, I really cannot get over how smooth this is and how fast everything is going. It's not buggy or anything like that. No force closes, none of that good stuff. I'm on 3G, in pretty bad spot right now on 3G. But everything's loading fast. Look at pinch zooms running great even while the page is still loading. Um, but wow, this is awesome. I can't, I'm going to hit the home button. And let's see what happens if I press and hold on the home button. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Okay, so it basically brings up your recent uh, opened apps or opened apps, I believe. So to, I think you can exit out of them by swiping. So if I wanted to exit out of talk, swipe it over. Good to go. It's actually kind of like WebOS's cards or whatever with the running apps kind of thing. So if I wanted to exit out of the camera, just swipe it over to exit. Exit out of the browser, swipe it on over. You can go the other way or this way. Wow, that is amazing. This is awesome. I cannot wait to just play with this ROM all day in class tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. I'll be paying attention. But um, as, as you can see, everything is smooth, snappy, and working wonderfully. Um, go to the, I'm going to go ahead and go to the dialer. Nice theme dialer. This dialer is awesome right here. Vibrates as you press them, and you have calls, I believe, recent, and favorites. So that is nice. You can sw uh, swipe between them, too, as well. God, this ice cream sandwich is awesome. Makes me want the Galaxy Nexus even more once it comes out. Uh, but go to contacts. As you can see, it's got people. you got favorites all in groups. I think you can swipe left to right. You go to favorites all or groups. I have none of those, obviously, since I did just flash this. But even the transition animations are very nice. Um, I'm going to try and put a messaging app on my home screen. But if you, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but transitioning in between these screens, it goes in and out, in and out. This is really fluid and smooth. This is amazing. If I want to compose a message, I could say to Tim and say, hey there. There you go. And hit send. Your message has no valid recipient. So I'm going to text Google. Um, I can't think of the numbers right now. G-O-O-G-L-E. Oh, G-L-E. Uh, 466-453. So let's try that. 466-453. Hey there. And send. So it's going to send this message. Oh, as you can see, it is kind of like a list style. It's not bubble, anything like that. It's a nice list style. It has a picture icon right there for you. And if you uh, press on it, it'll ask you to add to contacts or basically it'll view the contact for you. You can call or add an attachment from up there. You can select, press and hold on this and hit replace, I guess. No suggestions available. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the messaging app. But other than that, this is an amazing ROM. I still can't get over how quick, how smooth how basically overall everything is great. Um, if any, Before anyone does ask, I'm gonna go to settings and show you guys something. Go to uh, 
security and then go to configure lock screen it does not have face unlock or whatever if whatever they called it but it does not have the unlock with your facial recognition so you only have password pin pattern and off but uh, anyways you do uh, check out the lock screen which is very nice it's running it says sprint at the bottom has a nice circle press it brings up another circle you can uh, basically unlock it or go to the camera app so you can unlock it log it again it does have crt screen off animation go to the camera app should open the camera right up as you can see it did and also it has uh, 360 transitions along with the transition animations so as you can see all the way around so this is awesome this ROM is amazing I'm very uh, pleased so far with this this amazing ROM but uh, other than that oh another cool feature that it does have I'm gonna go to settings again so check out the settings app, go to display, and you can uh, change your font size. So in case you like a different font size, you can go to extremely small, it makes everything really tiny, or you can go to extremely large and it makes the fonts really big. In case you can't see the fonts, anything, anything like that. So uh, basically it's a good mix in case you do like something different. But other than that, it's got some cool features to it. Be sure to make sure to check out this ROM. I highly recommend checking out this ROM. Even if Wi-Fi is not working, I would stick with just try using 3g for now so because i don't believe it does have 4g so it's just 3g for now but definitely check this out search button should bring up search as you can see it does works just just fine got a bunch of apps right there in case you want you also have the stop um, messaging app basically the latest beta or not beta but just the latest google music messaging app uh, messaging music app i apologize guys uh gallery you can also check out the gallery if you want uh, show the pictures I did take earlier as you can see that got those two you can select it You can swipe between the two Go back. I can press and hold on one. I believe yeah, and it gives me options Bluetooth it share it Information about it just all that good stuff or trash it. So that's nice you can swipe through you got locations times people tags so there you go. You got a bunch of different options within this newer gallery So it is an updated gallery go to the calendar app I believe the calendar is, uh, you can pinch zoom in case you want to basically get more detail on the certain part of the day, uh, but it goes by weeks as you can see, you can swipe through them. As you know, today is Tuesday 25th, um, but you can also check that calendar up there and it should basically bring you to a month view or you can go to month. So in case you like the month view better. So basically an updated calendar app as well, which is nice. Go to the calculator. Something I use every once in a while. So it looks like about the same calculator as always. So about the same there. Sorry to disappoint if you're expecting a better calculator. Uh, scroll through. Uh, that's about every, uh, it I'm going to go through with you guys. But other than that, I have nothing but praise for this. BZ did an amazing job. Great job, BZ. So big thanks to him as well. So be sure to check this out. If you do run into any problems, have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Uh, be sure to leave a comment as well just to comment on this amazing ROM. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links will be in the description of the video. And be sure to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos, review videos, all of that good stuff related to Android. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it.